Okay, this is taking a video on the Vitek pan. Uh, we're in the patient chart on soft dent. Uh, Y'all are already familiar with this. Uh, go up and click the x-ray button uh, that you're in the chart already on the patient. Click the x-ray and do start DEXIS like you're normally used to doing. It's going to open up the DEXIS software. Um, the scanner icon over here on the right will be your pan icon. When you click it, it's going to bring up a little uh, blue screen that says Twain Vautech Capture. Uh, it's going to come up with a generic number, uh, chart number and all this. That's what Twain is defaulted to, so don't pay attention to it. Um, it's going to really pull up, uh, go back into this patient's chart and not uh, chart number 19 or 9999. Uh, at this point, you'll hit capture. It's going to open up the Vatex software, and that's what it looks like. Uh, this will come up every time for the pan. Uh, we'll start at the top, and we are taking a pano. We have uh, image quality, uh, ultra high dose, high dose, and normal. Uh, defaults to high dose, leave it there. The arch selection, narrow, normal, wide for a child. And I'll go over orthogonal in just a minute. Uh, most of the patients are going to be normal. Uh, and of course, if it's a child, you will click on a child. It is a left click on the mouse. Uh, for this patient, we're just going to uh, keep it at normal. It is a standard pan. Uh, if you just want to take uh, the right side, which would be like a PA, or the left side, left PA, or just a front, which is uh, the front, anteriors, and partially of a bite wing on the left and the right. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna stay with the standard. Uh, we'll come down here to the bottom, and you'll notice the KVP and the MA, uh, those are already set, preset. You can change them up and down, uh, but for this one, uh, we're going to leave them alone. We're going to allow the uh, pre-selected choices to change them. You see at the bottom, it's a man, a woman, and a child. Uh, in this case, we're going to stay for a man. This would be uh, hard, normal, and soft. This would be bone density. M most everybody is going to be on the normal side. Okay. Uh, you can see the MA and KVP change when you go to a woman or to a child. Uh, that's the difference. And also the picture in the middle changes uh, when you go down to a child. It knows it's doing a smaller job. All right, in this case, we have uh, selected high dose, normal, standard pan, uh, a man, and normal density. All right, we're gonna uh, click on confirm and it's going to tell you the system is moving into capture position you can hear the pan moving and what it's going to do is going to move around the patient's head and it's going to end up turning the lights on to where you can do the patient alignment the lights come on the light here is uh, what they call the Frankfurt plane and you will line this up from the tragus, the inner ear of the patient, to the orbital socket. And line that line up. Now, if that light is uh, above the orbital, orbital socket or below the orbital socket, you will adjust the pan accordingly with the up or down button right here. Okay? Um, if the light is above the orbital socket, of course, you would want to raise the pan and level this light up. If it's below it, then of course you would want to lower the pan. Uh, here is the center light. You will line that up uh, straight down the middle of the patient's head. Uh, line it up on the nose and to the forehead. Pretend this light actually is going straight through the patient and you'd want to see it on the back of its head. Of course you can't, but that's what you want to visualize. This light here on the bottom right, your, your right, the patient's left, that is the uh, what they call the laser, the layer light or the canine light. 
what you want to do here is you want to line that light up on the distal of 10 every time uh, no matter what size the patient is you will move that light accordingly right here with this knob on the bottom and put it on the distal of 10 okay line that on the distal of 10 line this up in the middle of the patient's uh, head the Frankfurt plane light you will line up from the tragus to the orbital socket and what you'll end up having you'll end up having the patient where they're almost level with a slight tilt to the front and uh, that will give you the perfect smile and uh, not have the occlusal plane or the jaw side straight across you want a small smile once you've lined the patient up you'll come back over here to the computer and you'll notice the ready light is flashing you'll click on ready and it says the system is moving into capturing position uh, one one step I did forget when we was lining the patient up this knob right here at the bottom will close the temple supports onto the patient to keep them in position uh, where you position them okay the patient is uh, lined up And you heard the uh, pan, it actually talks to you. Uh, it's telling your patient, it's set up, tell them to put the, uh, close their eyes and put the tongue to the roof of their mouth. I don't remember if it actually says that, but you do uh, tell them to put the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Uh, closing the eyes, all that does is really keep them from uh, looking somewhere else and moving their head. If their eyes are closed, they tend not to move. Uh, another step, and I apologize that I did forget. When they come in, they have these two arms here. This is where the patient will grab and hold on to uh, the arms and you'll have them move forward and their feet should be pretty close even. Their toes should be pretty close even uh, to this bar going down, okay? Uh, what I told uh, Dr. Uh, Kirkpatrick it's really better and it'll drop their shoulders if you will have them cross their arms. I can't use uh, my other arm, of course, because I'll drop the phone. Uh, I have them cross their arms and what it does is it drops their shoulders uh, and that will allow rotation to be better. Okay, so you've lined up all the lights. You have um, positioned the patient uh, with their arms and positioned their feet and you've got them with a slight lean and you want to kind of grab the back of their head and pull it up just a tad to where you get that slight incline and get that smile. Okay, you have already clicked on ready and you can see it tells you press and hold the x-ray button until image capture is complete. Right here is the capture button. The green light is on. Press and hold the button and the pan will rotate in its capture. And it plays this little music. And you'll notice the light on the uh, top has turned orange, uh, letting you know it's radiating. Normally that light is green. Image capturing is complete. Please open your eyes and follow the operator's instructions. And you'll notice uh, once the capturing is done, the pan will rotate back around. So keep the patient in there uh, while it is rotating back around. Once it stops, you can allow the patient to come out. Open the temple sports and the patient can come out. All right, when you were capturing, uh, be sure you hold the button down the entire time. And it tells you that on the screen as well. All right, your image will come up here. All we see is white and black, but the patient's image would come up right here and you'll notice on the right side there are five options um, the middle option is going to pick the best of five uh, x it took one x-ray but what it does is calculate five different uh, density points and filters in there uh, you can change between each one of them but like I said the middle one is the best image normally 
once you're satisfied with how the image looks here, you'll notice down here there are two uh, icons or buttons, save and cancel. If you click cancel, the x-ray is gone. It's not saved anywhere. So in this case, we want to save it. So we click save, and at that point, it will transfer this image back into Dexas. And y'all are used to seeing uh, this particular screen um, where you can number the teeth or auto number or you close the window. Do you wish to assign the numbers? Y'all know all this. Uh, just click no. The x-ray will show up right here. And that will be our pan. And that is it on uh, from Vatec to Dexas or soft end to Dexas, then Vatec and back to Dexas. Uh, thank you and have a blessed weekend.